Hello everyone, it's Spluff5 here, and I'm recording the 8th episode of Industrial Craft for Dummies. Today we are going to be covering construction foam, which is a building substance from Industrial Craft. So I guess let's get straight into it. Okay, construction foam. is made with some kind of water, coal dust, redstone dust, and clay dust. You get clay dust by macerating a clay block. It has to be the block. Anyway, what this stuff is, is it's a placeable kind of building material. It's poisonous when you walk into it, so just like cactus. Well, not poisonous, but it'll hurt you. If you charge into it hard enough, you can actually go through it. See? So you can make trick doors with that. And items will bounce up and down on top of it. Daytime. Alright. Also, if you get a... torch or some kind of light source and put lots of them close to it Oops. it will harden into a more solid and less hurtful block and also oh I know we'll get into that bit later okay Another thing you can do is this you can make this thing called a CF sprayer, which is made with cobblestone and a stick. And we're back after that crash. So what happened is on the recipe, oh, come on, give me a CF sprayer. On the recipe of the CF sprayer, I clicked this button here. Do not click that, otherwise you will crash. So the CF sprayer. Now, I can't actually get one from any eye. I have to craft one because there's a bug currently in any eye. Where the one you get from any eye will be, well, I don't know if it's a bug or a feature, but the one you get from any eye will be full. So I'm going to demonstrate how you actually fill one. Oh, yeah, I'm still wearing my jetpack. Okay, stick. Stuff. Here we go. All right, see if sprayer. Now, hold this in your hand. It's not going to do anything. So you need to go over to your compressor, stop compressing air, and compress some construction foam. And you get these things called? CF pellets, and they're like pellets of the construction foam. What you do on the crafting table is you fill your CF sprayer with these pellets. Also, you can't break construction foam, so you can't use this mechanic I'm about to show you as a way to unlimitedly farm construction foam. But what you do is you get your CF sprayer, and you go over somewhere and you right click on a block and it'll just make this massive blob of construction foam. Blob. 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 You can use this as a trap. These do work in deployers. So if you had a deployer on the ground you walk onto a pressure plate and you get all like imprisoned in goo and stuff. Because remember I said it was dangerous so you could, that could happen. You get all trapped in goo. And that's what it looks like when it's hard. 
the goo. It's actually really different, I mean, really difficult to break. And it's explosion resistant, so it's not nearly as good as obsidian, but it will be reasonably good against explosions. Okay, next thing I'm going to show you is a way to actually shape your construction foam. On the stuff called scaffold, which is made with sticks and wooden planks. We'll give you 16 scaffolds, it's super cheap. And what this stuff does is you can place it on the ground, like that. But also, if you punch it once while holding more scaffolding in your hand, it'll place it on top. And again, and again. Neat way to make towers. Um, you can, it has a limit of how many pieces of scaffolding you can place out from the center. That's scaffolding. And also there's iron scaffolding, which is made with iron fences and refined iron. And that's much the same thing, except you, I think you can put five out instead of just three. Yep, but much further out. But anyway, what this does is if you get your spray gun, and you go up to it and you spray it, uh, the construction foam will take place of the scaffolding. So you can shape things like that. It's like I could build some kind of shape thing like that. And mathematical. Shape your construction foam. And then you can still spray it like blobs and things and see it's gone all hard over here and it's very difficult to break when it's hard okay the next mechanic I'm going to show you is painters now to get a which one's which this one to get a painter two iron ingots and wool of some kind then you put dye on them like orange or something like that I'm going to go with purple, and you can paint the scaffolding, whatever color you want to. I mean, not the scaffolding, you can paint the hardened construction foam. You can't paint unhardened, but you can paint hardened construction foam. Also, another functionality of um, these two painters is if you have two wires right next to each other, you can paint them, so paint this one purple. And then if, if I paint this one purple, they'll connect. But if I like paint this one red, they won't. So you can run two wires right next to each other. Oh, I'm almost dead. I died. So I guess this wraps up Episode 8 of Industrial Craft for Dummies with Construction Foam and all that good stuff. So, see you next time where we will do, hmm, what should we do next? Leave, <coughs> leave in the comment section below what you want me to do next in Industrial Craft. Okay, bye guys.